Blessed be your name, hallelujah. Arati limon de korobada shimla alabadi se prom de kepia. Zenka alabadush impalamadona bala katuliadi. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day you have made. Thank you for seeing eyes and hearing ears. Thank you for understanding heart. Thank you for this perfect reconciliation that has happened to us in Christ Jesus. When we embrace Christ, we embrace our perfect reconciliation with the Father. We embrace our perfect union with the Father. We embrace our perfect identity with the Father. We embrace our perfect oneness with the Father. We are inseparable. We become one spirit with our Father. Of His fullness, we drink from fullness upon fullness, grace upon grace, strength upon strength. So today is a day of strength. Today is a day of grace. Today is a day of beauty. For of your fullness, we have received grace upon grace. Thank you for the empowerment of your spirit that rises up from within us, that quickens our flesh, quickens our mind, quickens our thoughts, quickens our life, quickens our actions, quickens our mortal body. For our mortal flesh is renewed, being renewed day and day by day. Though our outward moment looks pressured on all sides, our inward man is renewed by the spirit of grace from within. Thank you, Lord, for showing us that there is life within, there is strength within, there is glory within. We are bold to declare that greater is he that is in us than everything that happens around us. We, de- we live and move in the gre- with the greater one. We think and move by the ability of the greater one. We function and thought and think our thought processes are aligned by the greater one. In the name of Jesus, as we begin a fresh start in the day of grace, as we begin a fresh start with the day of mercy, as we begin a fresh start with open heavens, we thank you for your grace within is guiding us into this reality. For the spirit of truth leads us into the spirit, into the life reality today. This new life that you've given to us in Christ Jesus is unveiled in a fresh dimension this beautiful day. Thank you for we see clearly now. The veil is torn in our heart. And when we return to the Lord, the veil is taken away. Thank you, the veil is taken away. Our eyes of understanding are opened. Our ears are open. Our hearts are open. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' perfect, glorious name. Amen and amen. Welcome to prayer banquet. Blessed be our Father God. Let's begin a new study today. Praise the Lord. We want to look at the word of eternal life. John chapter 14 and the 6th verse. John, the 14th chapter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the 16th verse. The 6th verse. John 14, the 6th. It says, Jesus said, and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. John, the 14th chapter, the 6th verse. Glory to God. Glory to our Father. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. I love this scripture because it is very, it's a very straightforward scripture. That is, Jesus said, I am the way. So there is only said there is only one way to the Father. Many times people say there are many ways to God. No, there are not. There's just one. And Jesus said, I am the way. That means you, you cannot know the Father God except you know me. Whatever you claim to have known without me is not the Father. You may have encountered something that appears like the Father, looks like the Father, talks like the Father, but it's not the Father. And when he was talking about the Father, he was talking about the source by which all life emanated from. The source of all life, the author of all, all creation. That means we are from Him, and then we are we are disconnected from that relationship. So to be reconnected, Jesus said, "I am the connection. I am your connection." So when Jesus comes into your life, are you connected? You know, many times people say, "Jesus is in my life, and I'm trying to seek God. I'm trying to know the fa- seek the Father." Jesus said, "When you have found Me, you found the Father. So you are in the Father's presence right now." When Jesus came into your life, there was a divine connection. You know, if you have a phone, cell phone, and you're connected to a, to a particular provider, because you are connected to that particular provider, your cell phone is active. So whether you use it or not, it is active. You could pick it up at any time 
and make a phone call and it connects you directly to the next person. Why? Because you are connected to a provider that, con that services that link between you and whoever you want to reach out to. Jesus has been our connection. He has connected us to the source of our life. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. That means through me, you will experience a new kind of living. Through me, you will experience a new kind of being. Through me, you will come into a new kind of experience. This life is an experience. God wants you to come into an experience where you are no longer disconnected from him. God wants you to come into an experience where you would always continually flow with him. Where you and your father will be in this intimate relationship in every issue of life. This is what Jesus said, I am the way to. That means once you have me, you are connected to a kind of understanding which is truth, which we learned last week, and a kind of experience which is life. So Jesus is the connection to this new kind of life. Jesus in me is a connection to this new kind of life. There is a new kind of way to live. There is a new kind of man that God wants you to be. A new kind of man that God wants us to express. It's a new kind of man. This new kind of man is not a man that is a slave. It's the man that Genesis 1.26 talks about. You shall create a man in his image and likeness and they will have dominion. So there is this new life that God wants us to express that is dominion. It's dominion in nature. This is a Jesus life. This is the new man life, the new creation life. And so Jesus said, I am this life. I am the experience of this new kind of life, this new kind of relationship, this new kind of understanding. And so God wants to open our eyes to what this new kind of life entails, what this new kind of life embraces. When we came into the family of God, when we embraced Jesus as Lord, we embraced also the path of this new life. That means you can live a new kind of life. Hallelujah. You have been given. He said, all things are passed away. All things have become new. And all these things are of God. This new life is God inspired. This new life is God controlled. This new life is God dictated. This new life is God defined. Hallelujah. So as we pray today, I want you to know that when Jesus came into your life, you came into a new experience. You came into a, an experience of a new kind of life. Hallelujah. When Jesus said, I am, so you are, are in the place of this new life. Many times we are hoping we will have eternal life and we will die. We are hoping we will experience the fullness of God when we will die. We are hoping we will enjoy that when we go to heaven. No, but Jesus didn't promise you an afterlife. He promised you an eternal life now. He said, if you eat the has the Son has this life. If you receive the Son, you have embraced this new kind of life. And this new kind of living. It means that the ability to live as God will live on earth has been imparted into your heart, imparted into your spirit. The ability to walk as a son of God now is in you. And that's what the Lord wants you to begin to draw forth out of this well of salvation. Draw forth out of this place of life and strength. Draw forth out of the bold. You see, you have boldness that you have never tapped into yet. You have courage you have never tapped into yet. You have wisdom you have not drawn out from yet. You have grace and understanding that you have not expressed yet. Hallelujah. There is much to your life that you can draw forth that you have not taken advantage of yet. And God wants you to draw forth from that life. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. So as we begin to pray, let's begin to speak the truth. In the name of the Lord Jesus, thank you, Father. For Thank you, Father, for showing me that the path to life is the person. The way to life is the person. The truth of life is a person, and that person is Jesus in me. Hallelujah. That means when Jesus said, I am, when he came, I became one with him. When I became one with him through the finished work and what he has accomplished on the cross, when I embraced that reality, I embraced also the life, this new kind of living and being. For he that has the Son has the life, the ability to live like the Son of God will live on the earth. I thank you for opening my eyes to seeing, understanding, and expressing this new life. I thank you for opening my ears to understand, to appreciate that I'm a new man, that my old man has gone. I thank you for helping me to know that I am in the new life now. 
Hallelujah. I have the new life now. I have the new life now. I have the new kind of life now. Thank you, Lord, for showing me that I can live as the Son of God. Hallelujah. I have the ability to function in an intimate, uninterrupted fellowship with the Father God. Why? Because I have the new life now. In the name of Jesus this new life that I have received in Jesus, it, I am, I have it now. He says, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No one can experience this without me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Now I experience new life. I have new life. I think about the terms of new life. I walk in the ability of this new life. I function in the grace of this new life. I understand the words of this new life. I live in the realm of this new life. I speak from the place of this new life. Everything about me is quickened by this new life. My eyes, my mind, my thought, my being is revealed by this new life. Every part of my life is swallowed up in, in this new life. Mortality is swallowed up by immortality. This new life has swallowed up that which has been corrupted. Hallelujah. The old is gone. The new has come. In the name of Jesus. The corrupted one has bowed to the incorruptible one in me. In the name of Jesus. For I have the son. I have this new life. In the name of Jesus. I am not an old species. I am a new species of being. Hallelujah. I am a new creation. My old life does no longer have any reference point in this new life. Uh, the old is gone. The new has come. The new is established. I am in it now. Because when I receive the I am, I become one with him now. Hallelujah. It is active. This new life is active. It has possessed my, talk, my thoughts. It has possessed my liver. It has possessed my heart. It has possessed my being. It has possessed my mortal being, my mortal flesh. It has possessed me from the inner man to the outer being. I am possessed by this new life in the name of Jesus. This new life that knows no corruption. This new life that his taste buds has changed. Hallelujah. I have the same sensitivity of my father. I have the same insight of my father. I have the same understanding in my father because I and my father are one in this new life relationship. I walk in this experience of a new dawn. I experience a new kind of living and being. I live in this new experience that the son of God has given and made me to become in the name of Jesus. For I have the Son, I have this new life. I live in this new experience every day. Every time I wake up, I wake up into this new experience of living and being. I, I wake up into this new experience of a living and being. For in Him I live, in Him I move, in Him I have my being. I wake up into this new experience of living and being in the name of Jesus. Thank you for this new life. Hallelujah. 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 In Jesus' precious name we pray. Hallelujah. Know that you are in a new life. Hallelujah. The old life is completely gone. It has no place in your new life. Your new life is a life that is empowered, emboldened by God. Hallelujah. It's a new experience with God. It means you and God are one. Wherever you go, God is why? Because God is living in you. So you carry God everywhere. So you carry the experience of heaven into your business. You carry the experience of heaven into your school. You carry the experience of heaven into your family. Heaven's, heaven is not far. You and heaven are in the same environment. You carry heaven's environment into every place you go to. Let this thought dominate you. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, that heaven and you have become one. You have a new life. Hallelujah. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow as we continue to grow in your grace and understanding of this new life in Christ Jesus. You are blessed and no man can reverse it. Bless you.